oh, today is going to be such a boring day. Sat here working in the library. I'm not even allowed to talk, really. I'm doing research on synesthesia. The same thing I've been looking at for days and days and days. Uh, it's just really getting stuck in, really. And, uh, well, now you've noticed I'm not even allowed to talk here. Yeah, I'm silent. I'm thinking these words to the camera right now. Oh, it's so early. I need to go to bed. But yeah, I don't mind it really. I'm only kidding. I can send you selective advertising, which they, they put you, they, they kind of factors of type, and then they can select you. Uh, selected in a seminar at the moment, Magaby's gone for a break and it's run on really late, it's quarter past four at the moment and I don't think we're going to get home on time. Here comes Claire. Claire, you're looking pretty attractive today. Thank you. Is it the fact that I have badly bleached hair? Have you even noticed? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't, have you? Oh, I, didn't, I didn't want to say anything. Everyone's <laughs> back, but Megaly. Here comes Megaly. Well, this, this is my bedroom door. It's got Polaroids over it. And if you're really lucky, you're on that door. Right, there is a, a book here that I've been meaning to show you. And as today's been quite a lame day, today will be the day I show you. Uh, this is something my dad bought from a car boot sale for five pounds. It's by a photographer called Susan M. Kirk. Just a family snapshot album uh, taken in the 1930s or pictures as early as 1929. And I'm just going to flick through it now, show you how thick it is, and uh, show you some of the photos that are in it. I think it's really quite amazing. Amazing period of time, these photos. Three ladies stood with their knees on show, holding umbrellas in the hot sun in the water, I thought that was a really funny picture especially for back then this one's entitled a Spanish customs officer this one here which uh, I'm not even sure, it might be a self portrait but it says somewhere at rest in a drawing room and uh, I'm going to have to go in closer so you'll be able to see what I like about it so much there you go, you can see that, it's not something you would imagine from 1929, a knackered woman lying there on the sofa with her feet up. And it's great because it shows some of the decor of the place. Looks like she was pretty amazing at uh, landscapes as well. That's quite evident through the whole book. This absolutely bizarre picture is one of my favourite. I've no idea what's going on, but you've got these couple juxtaposed next to each other with different cleaning tools. Uh, going to opposite corners. It has to be staged. I think it's quite amazing, especially it's dated 1930. This is quite a nice picture. Uh, she's used a photographic technique, uh, a very small aperture. And this person here has a camera pointing back at her, and this guy's in focus, but all this is out of focus. So uh, she obviously knows what she was doing with a camera. I'll go in a bit closer. There you go, you can see the two guys now. Really nice. <laughs> that is incredible. So all in all I reckon there's about 200 photos in there. At a guess, I might be wrong, might be less. But all seem to be taken with the same camera really interesting to look through it's things like this uh, appearing less and less and if you ever see something like it I guess you you should buy it snap it up so you have a memento of times that have passed 
It's day 49 of 365. I'm exhausted and we're about to watch a program by the BBC on the virtual revolution recommended by Magali. She says it's something that I've got to watch. So we're going to chill out tonight and do that uh, before we do anything else. See you later. Bye.